Hey, every. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I have. Um, <laughs> shut up. She has like. <laughs> Yes, thing. My voice is being played back to me at a 200 millisecond delay. You sound so drunk. Fucking speech jammer program, and everyone should get it. So this is the thing you were talking about? It just makes you sound really stupid? Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I what, can't. What? <laughs> I'm having a really hard time talking right now. <laughs> Yeah, you sound drunk. This is really hard. You won't you won't understand it until you do it yourself. I'll I'm really s- waiting for her to be like, I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys. I do love you. This is way harder than I made it sound. You know what? At this rate, the podcast will be like three hours long. No, I'm... Uh, I'm just going to do it while I'm talking about keys. S.H.I.E.L.D. Rear, give me your keys. No! <laughs> um, it's the 50th episode. It's the what? The 50th, 55 Oh, Oh, 50th. Yeah, this is our 50th episode, so we're going to talk as slowly as possible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, next oh. week it'll be you, and I'll send this to you, and you have to do it. We'll do it in a cycle where it'll be you and Fran. Really though, what would happen if like you had this program, but you did you spoke in slow motion? That means it would be like every syllable would be just so like five minutes long. That's <laughs> how it feels to me right now. I don't know what my mouth is trying to do. Me neither. You really do sound drunk. It's auditory (laughs) processing delay. It's a thing in your brain. So the words coming out don't... They're they're fucked up. It's like enough of of a delay to fuck me up. (laughs) <laughs> just it. You got. You decided to get up at noon and just get totally hammered. Yes, I did. <laughs> Drinking all your Game of Thrones wine or whatever. Yeah, Game of Thrones was really good this week, though. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Ooh, Heather yeah. it was really good this week. I haven't watched it yet. It's, I'm gonna watch it later. It was very satisfying. Was better than the week before? Oh, um, no. Mm, about the same. <laughs> hey, guys, I want to try something. <laughs> Here, you're look making, at you're making fun of me now. <laughs> look at these puppies. Wait till and- I give this to you and you have to do this. Promise me that you will... I'll do it, I just don't want it to fuck up my computer. It won't. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> I might have to go back to my regular thing while I talk about S.H.I.E.L.D. because... Because if we do, I have to three hours. articulate <laughs> with my rage about S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> well, and we be here forever. Yeah, so. okay. Yeah, okay, now it's but- off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that did to me. It's hey guys, she turned off her drunkenness. I turned it off. Amazing. I'll I'll go back. I'll turn it on at like the most random time though, and you guys will be like, oh wait, what? Oh, she turned the thing back on. Oh my god. Um, oh, I totally forgot about this. I before we talk about uh, Shield, did you guys know that Joe McHale hosted the White House I, correspondent? I watched it. It I was really not. good. I like was it? I missed it. But it was good. Yeah. That. I thought I thought the whole um, him and the the president were very funny. Cause somebody I know just posted a clip. Oh wow, it's a long clip. I'll uh, I'll check it out later. Him, him <laughs> and the president were were very funny in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's I watched awesome. that though. It was really cool. I I never I that's the first time I've ever actually sat down and watched that dinner. Um, 
Yeah. I'd like it's it's like the swankiest thing in the world. I just think it's cool though, because like Joel McHale went from like you know a host to just a clip show to actually being on his own show to hosting you know a White House event. He's going far, and I say you know I'm happy for him. Yeah, I I think um, people were speculating before that he wasn't going to do any political jokes because he usually just makes fun of the Kardashians all the time and. Like, that's what he does. But he actually got some good political jokes in there. Yeah, you... You know, come on. You have to make some kind of political joke there. Because if you... You can't talk about the Kardashians in the White House. Because then somehow their heads will get bigger and they'll think they can run for president or some okay. shit. <laughs> that's the last thing we need. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, can I talk about S.H.I.E.L.D. super quick? That... Um, I don't know what Joss Whedon is trying to do. Oh, quick. I don't know what Joss Whedon is trying to do with this show. Um, I mean, it's still good, in my opinion. I think it's still good. Like, don't, do you agree with that, or? Um, well, it's interesting in that, like, it's still, you know, it's you still don't know what's engaging. Gonna happen. Yeah, what's gonna happen with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Nobody, like, they're gonna be built up again, but it's, 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 it's gonna be interesting how, so. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what to think, really. <laughs> uh, it's... I mean, I still hate I Sky. I don't think that'll change. You know what? She's getting better, and I totally... I, I, I think the show cannot decide what... Even now, 20-ish episodes in, with only two episodes left of the season, they still cannot decide what kind of character they want her to be. Can she be a dead one? Shut up. Right. No, she's good. I, like, I, I hate this shit that they're doing with Ward because A, I already did not care about him. And B, they're doing as much as they can. I think, for, from my point of view, they're really trying to make me feel sorry for him. And I just do not feel sorry for him at all. He did a despicable thing. <laughs> I think just... I don't know. Well, it's the Marvel route, so they're gonna like, you know, with Marvel. Okay, this is gonna sound like really ignorant for to Marvel DC people, so I apologize in advance. But like in the Marvel world, they're more like emotional. So like we're probably they're probably doing all that stuff with Ward so that we can feel bad for him in this ne- this coming episode because like from the trailers it looked like it's just gonna be about him but and his I don't past. feel bad for him. I know, but now you're going to have to, or you're supposed to. But I'm to. not. Like, I know through. you're not, but that's what they want you to do. And, you know, you don't have to do it. I mean, I still don't like Sky. Last but still season, no. To. Last season of Game of Thrones, they really wanted me to feel bad for Theon. And you know what? I still <laughs> don't feel bad for him. And he- uh, Heather, say, Heather gets what I'm saying, though. Like, I was going to say Theon's a dick, but then I realized that might not be very nice. He doesn't have a dick anymore. <laughs> nice, <not> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. What a fucking asshole. I, he has a, he, his sister's <laughs> yeah. really hot, but like I don't like him. Uh, they're going through all these lengths now. Like now the sister has to jump through all these hoops to try to save his useless sorry ass with no dick and fuck me. <laughs> I need to start watching. I'm just Ugh. I've I, been so caught up with Twin Peaks. I don't know. <laughs> I've been trying to get. I really want to sit my brother down, and get him to watch it because I, I think he'll. I think he'd like like the Daenerys storyline and. I want to start from the beginning though, but it's not on Instant Watch on Netflix. I don't. I'm, I don't feel like getting it on DVD. It's on. Have... It's on my Instant Watch on Xfinity and like. I, don't have I know. One. I know. Like they're saying that oh, Comcast was voted the worst company in the world, but they give me th- free Game of Thrones on my on-demand Xfinity, so. Not complaining. Comcast pisses me off. They won't, they can't, they don't fucking have, like, the setup to do Comcast at my house, but they still send me shit in the mail. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we, get, I, we uh, get junk mail from them constantly. Telling us that we need to upgrade help. our package, but I'm like, we have, we already have a $200 package. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh my god. I, can I say something else about Shield, too? That, um, uh, I like where it's going with, uh, Oh, shit. I get Fitz Simmons mixed up, like, which is which. Um, Fitz is the guy. Okay, Fitz. I like where it's going with Fitz. It's just, like, he's starting to feel, like, crumble and stuff like that. And it's all, like, nobody trusts anybody. Yeah. And I kind of I like that. But I also love, um, the night I watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that episode, 
like before that, I w- I caught up on Once Upon a Time, like the episode of that that week, and literally they both two shows on the same network, but two different, completely different shows did the same thing in the sense of this big event happened. Who caused it? Oh, we did. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, because <laughs> like on on Once Upon a Time, they're like who ca- who cast this curse. And then we, we see a flashback and we, we find out it was Snow White and them all along. And it's like, oh, well, we did it. And now in S.H.I.E.L.D., it's like, who's the one who put on the order for Tahiti? Oh, my God, it was Coulson. It was him the whole time. Spoilers! <laughs> Whatever, but I just love it. Like, two completely different shows. The entire the reason thing. that Coulson is alive is because of Coulson himself. Dude, that's deep. plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, seriously, don't you think it's don't you think it's funny that like two different shows had the same kind of plot that twist? That is kind of weird. Yeah, I'll have to ask um my friend about it that watches Once Upon a Time. Let's ask her about. Yeah, that. I'm, I miss I missed this week's episode, so I have to catch up because apparently the baby was finally born, so we have to see about that. I keep seeing pro- like I was talking to my my friend, and I'm like, yeah, I keep seeing promos for this yeah. show because she was talking about how she actually has not caught up on this season at all, and I'm like, yeah, they keep showing promos for it. Like, someone wants to possess a baby or some shit. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it is. What? Like, <laughs> It's really vague. Like, right now, the, the main villain this season is the Wicked Witch of the West. And, like, it's really kind of vague what she wants to do. Like, she wants to travel back in time to kind of, like, change the errors of the past so that she can become more powerful. That's, like, her goal. But it's kind of weird into how she's going to set that goal. It, like, involves the baby, but they're not really saying how or why. And, like, there's some other stuff going on. And,. I don't know. It's not the best written show in the world. I'll admit that. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like, it's kind of a weird show because, like, the first. I think I mentioned this in another podcast. But like the first, this is like the fourth season. So like the first two seasons was just establishing the fairy tale characters in the present, and then the other two seasons were them. Now that they've been established, them dealing with bad guys from other stories. So it's kind of cool, but I, I kind of miss the seeing other characters and how they are now. Like, like Cinderella was like a single mom and uh, Snow White was, you know, this cool kindergarten teacher, but she's like also like a warrior <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know. They can't really do that anymore because I don't know what other stories are left for them to do. <laughs> That's a, yeah, that sounds like a predicament. It's the same with S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. I don't know how S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to keep going when there's literally... Well, they have to... They when have to re- the movie-verse and the cinematic universe literally says there's no S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore. But there has to be, because one, they've been renewed for second season, and two, there's a second Avengers movie. So... Yeah. It's gonna, oh, sorry, my phone went off. It's gonna happen. Like, you know, they can't... Yeah, they've destroyed S.H.I.E.L.D., but it's not gonna end. There's so much money invested in all that shit. They're just gonna rebuild... The agency, oh yeah, you know. newsflash, yeah. it's almost, I think two days ago, it's gonna be exactly one year from now that Age of Ultron comes out. So this time next year, <laughs> we will have seen <laughs> the Avengers sequel. It's too long, I can't wait anymore. They're still filming <laughs> it. I know, and they got the... Mark Ruffalo the keeps tweeting pictures, and I'm like, you stop Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Wait, what? Mark Ruffalo keeps tweeting pictures of him and Robert Downey Jr. Well, at least he's involved. Robert, I, I, saw, I saw this thing that you posted that, like, they want to get Lou Ferrigno back. Yeah, or Lou Ferrigno was saying, like, um, no, Lou Ferrigno might have accidentally let it slip that the solo Hulk movie with Mark Ruffalo is going to be after Avengers 2. Oh, it is? It's going to be Marvel, it's going to be in Phase 3. Alright, so... So, so I have gonna... to wait even longer for the movie that I've been waiting to see. Oh. That has not oh. even been cast, barely been talked about, and it's it's inevitable that it's coming. Like, that's the thing. Like, everyone keeps talking about, like, it's coming, it's coming, don't worry, it's gonna be here. I'm like, how mm-hmm. long? And they're like, oh, like, 15 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they gonna do this, uh, the same thing of, like, have one actor be... Bruce Banner, and then Luke Ferrigno would be the Hulk. Is well, that what, what they're doing? What they did with the Avengers was that Mark Ruffalo was both. Yeah. Um, yeah. Luke Ferrigno did some of the lines, I think. 
Because um, we all know he's so articulate. Yeah, no, Lou Ferrigno did, like, the Hulk growls and, like, so, like the Hulk's dialogue. He Any did dialogue that, that the Hulk had, movie. that was Luke Fer- Lou Ferrigno. Um, I think that's the only involvement he has with the, the current Marvel films, because Mark Ruffalo um, now plays both the Hulk and Banner because of the uh, mocap technology is so advanced now. Yeah, he don't need no other mate. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, even, um, and even if they could, even if they wanted Lou Ferrigno, to, like it's cheaper to get one actor to do the human actor and the mocap instead of hiring two separate actors for the same role. Well, yeah, it does seem cheaper, but <laughs> it's cheaper I to get Mark Ruffalo to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> what can he do? <laughs> oh my god, next movie he'll be Black Widow. Uh, That'll be hot. <laughs> Can't wait. That, they say that that movie is going to come too, Black Widow movie, which that would be awesome. Really? And Wonder Woman still doesn't have a yeah, movie. Yeah, they're still scared to make a Wonder Woman movie. Uh, oh, DC. Uh, <laughs> what is the problem? Why can't women have their own superhero movies that aren't Electra? I don't know. I think <laughs> DC's like go super see scared. It. DC's like super like not very confident in themselves right now, but Marvel's like, well, they to, Marvel's they like, yeah, get over. Marvel's like, yeah, our next movie has a talking raccoon in it. <laughs> so yeah, oh yeah, you know, that's a great point. It's like, you know, DC, we don't want to give a woman her own movie. Marvel, we got a talking raccoon in own movie. Yeah. Mm. God, what the Here's fuck? a talking raccoon and a living tree in our next movie. <laughs> Take that. See, uh, take <laughs> that. Oh, you can't even make a movie about a woman superhero? Oh, well. Sorry. Yeah. You can. You keep making shitty Green Lantern movies, but... Actually, I think I... that's one thing that they're never going to do again. Just, <laughs> I didn't uh, think Green Lantern was that bad. I mean, I, I didn't I think it was that bad either. It, yeah, from I the clips I saw of it, like, it didn't look finished. <laughs> like It was mediocre. It, it didn't I, look I like love... a finished product. <laughs> Like it, looks like, it looks like, like it was two weeks away from being finished, but then DC's like, oh, we have to put it out, like, this weekend. <laughs> uh, the one thing I did love about the Green Lantern movies, actually the only thing I really remember, was um, he's in his full uniform, and he goes to, like, see the love interest. Um, I forget her name. And she, the minute she walks in, she recognizes him. And he's like, it's great, because he's, like, glowing, and he's got his mask on and everything. And she's like, oh, my God, is that you? And he's like, how would you recognize me? And she's like, dude, we grew up together. I've seen you naked. Oh, I've seen, I saw that in the trailer, I think. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That was brilliant. Because it's like, you know, you're right. How can they not recognize him, Lois Lane? The only prospect <laughs> I have for the future, like, because Zack Snyder's going to be doing all these new DC movies, the Batman and Superman and the Justice League. Like, the, and I'm not, like, super interested Mainly because, A, they're so far away. I mean, I wasn't super interested in the Avengers um, when they announced it, but it got closer and closer, and I started getting more hyped. But the one prospect I have is that there's a rumor going around that Jason Momoa might be cast as Aquaman. I'd watch the shit out and of And I that. would be first in line to see that, because <laughs> I love Jason Momoa so much. I saw the picture you posted of him. I and, love um... him. He is pretty cute. He is the only reason I sat through the Conan remake. I fell asleep during that movie, but at least I got to see the sex scene. Oh my. The only good part about that movie. (laughs) I don't I don't remember a thing about that movie except there was a sex scene, they were on a boat at some point, and there was like a fight on this huge wooden wheel over lava, and like it was weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently it's well, the day we're recording, it's Cinco de Mayo. Is it, it? Yeah, yesterday was May the 4th be with you, and now today is Cinco de Mayo, a.k.a. from what I've heard, people calling it Revenge of the 5th. <laughs> yeah. Because it's the day after May the 4th be with you, which is, that's clever, I like that. I'll use that. I, I heard something interesting, <laughs> actually. Like, um, I went to the market today, and when I was uh, driving home, I was listening to the radio, and they were having some kind of uh, radio quiz contest or whatever and they asked this person what was it true or false more americans celebrate cinco de mayo than more than less america celebrates cinco de mayo more than mexico i would believe that, that yes it's true i didn't i was surprised i, I would like totally the irish it. with saint patrick's day yeah. 
Yeah, I guess so. We Americans just like any excuse to party. Yeah. I I could I I could believe that it really is another holiday to just drink. It, that with, yeah, that's that, tacos. That's, that's I I don't know why St. Patrick's Day is a holiday. I don't know the history behind St. Patrick's Day, but Nobody because all I know about it is that Americans use it as an excuse to go and get wasted after work. Because apparently we need an excuse. Yeah. That's the thing, like, with most holidays, I think, well, most if not all holidays, people don't really know the history. Yeah. Like, I kept seeing, what was it, uh... Fuck, there was this one holiday that just happened, and I kept seeing this thing on Facebook that everyone was like, oh, it was Easter. That, like, Easter was originally, like, a celebration of sex or something. Easter, I think, well, was ori- because Easter was originally a pagan holiday, I think. Yeah, so is yeah, Christmas. Of fertility. Yeah. But now everyone... Yeah, the Christians stole what... it and made it their own. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we're trying to get the pagans to convert. Uh, look, we got this holiday that's totally not a ripoff of your celebrations for Yule and whatnot. You should yeah. convert. <laughs> I love the Jim Gaffigan thing about Easter. It's just like, what is it? Uh, it's like, we're gonna, what is it? We're gonna, you know, hide these eggs for Jesus. <laughs> like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, don't worry, there'll be a rabbit. I don't follow your logic. <laughs> I think I listened to that. I think his new, his new comedy Jim album just came out. I haven't listened to it yet. The last one of his I heard was King Baby. Yeah, so that's good. I, that's new one. Uh, okay. I want it. <laughs> we have a theme for this episode because it's the fiftieth. So, Woo-hoo! and it's not rare sounding gr- drunk. Yeah, because yeah, or the stuff that she mentioned actually, on our Facebook. Actually, I have the speech jammer. You and I have mind, Inception mindfuck, Heather. Actually, I have the speech jammer on a timer, so it's gonna start at some random point in the middle of me talking. <laughs> oh my <girl>. god. <laughs> It's going to start again, and then I'll stop it, and then I'll set it at a random time again, and it'll just start again at any point. I don't know when. I'm not looking at the timer, but anyway. It's like she'll, it's like she'll but she's about to say something really important, and then... Just it. wanted to go ahead and get that out there, that that's probably what's going to happen. Like, Greer does not randomly sound drunk. I don't randomly just start running out of batteries. That's what she's telling us. <laughs> um... That's what we're supposed to believe. Because because the internet is such a big part of our lives, and because uh, we do this podcast about the internet, and we met over the internet, so we wanted to have a celebration of the internet. And Woo-hoo! all of us have in common something that we really love YouTube, so we kind of wanted to take a podcast and talk about the YouTubers that we like, um, what we like to watch on YouTube, um, what we draw inspiration from, um, what we use when we get sad, or we need an inspiration, or when I need a break from editing, I'll go watch YouTube, and that's uh, why sometimes these things take so long to get out. Um, <laughs> at least you're honest. Because I get caught up in watching, like, Achievement Hunter or something. So yeah, we kind of wanted, yeah, we kind of wanted to go around Robin and be like, here's a YouTube channel I like. Here's what it's about. I'm gonna talk about it, and you should check it out if you like this thing because they talk about it. So. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, start with Georgia. <laughs> Talk oh, about a YouTube but... channel that you like, and then we'll go Georgia, Heather, me, and then we'll go around. Until oh, we okay. run out. <laughs> you shouldn't have picked me first, because, like, I don't, I don't really have anything in particular. I mean, I'm gonna... Like, what's a YouTube channel you what always... What the fuck is that noise? I'm sorry, I, I didn't think there was batteries in this. <laughs> It sounded like, like hissing. I got my husband Darth Vader and Anakin lightsaber flashlight thingies, oh and apparently they make noise when you turn them on, and I didn't think it would have batteries in it, so I pushed them Great. Button. Heather's a Sith, and Greer's drunk. Oh my. And I'm stuck in this. <laughs> the speech jam just started up again. Wild fuck. It just when you were starting to talk about it. All right. Well, um, what's like what's a YouTube channel you always find yourself going back to? Well, I mean, there's you know I've been on YouTube for many years, so there's there's been a few. Like I love the guy who does Foamy, the squirrel. Um, I love the AMV health stuff. I support all those things. Um, I really I love so much AMV hell. I... Yeah, I'm so. It was like it. my entire middle school life. Was lots of AMV hell. Yeah, same here. Like I had a, I had a, I actually got introduced to it to a 
by an ex of mine because he had made a video in one of their movies and he was like so excited to show me. And I was still a noob in the anime world, so I'm like watching it and I'm like, I wish I could understand most of these jokes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> turn this off. There we go. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> Um, I love the channel that my friends make. I love, um, I don't know. I used to, I just look for anything, really. Like, I love cute animal stuff. I, I don't really have anything in particular. And then I say that now, but I, there's something that's going to pop up in my head later. I know it. But I just, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I love our stuff, because we're awesome. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love me. Heather, what's a YouTube channel you like? I love like? you guys! <laughs> do you want to just do I made a list because I'm a nerd Ooh, yay, and list. prepared Say your list, please. I thought about making one last night but I forgot also my air conditioner is <laughs> really loud hold on a sec uh, no oh. okay there we go alright the first one I put down was the one I've been watching the most lately and just started watching and it's Markiplier Markiplier <laughs> <laughs> And Greer and I share this we're obsession. We're really bonding over Markiplier right now. <laughs> it's because he's so strong he, and brave and handsome. We have a connection with... I, I, I think, like, I've never felt such a strong connection to you. <laughs> <laughs> and now we all both love Markiplier. What, the last, like, three days have been like, did you watch this one? Oh, my God, did you see the very one where he's not wearing a shirt? Yeah. <laughs> That's been us for, like, three days. But, I mean, I've been watching him. It's, she, you've been watching him for, like, a couple weeks now. Yeah. And then I've been watching him probably since around October, off and on. Good times. But if you like games, you should do that. He's, I think and he's, I think it's, like, statistically, he's, like, one of the fastest growing YouTube channels right now. Yeah, he went from, like, 2 million to 2.2 in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's just, he's only been on there for, like, two years. And he has 2.2 million followers, and I'm just like, how how do you do that? How do? How do you YouTube? How happen? <laughs> I mean, I, and I was trying to think of the chain of Let's Players that led me up to that point. And, I mean, it's, it's um, I, I forget which Let's Player it started with. Because I remember I used to watch a lot of uh, Toby Turner, which I, I still like Toby Turner a lot. Um, I don't go back to him as much anymore, but um, I like the sketches he does, and he's really funny. Um, but he has gaming, he does gaming channel, he has a gaming channel, so, um, I'd watch his stuff, and then I started watching PewDiePie, who I still watch off and on, I know he's, like, a controversial topic, apparently, like, you're, <laughs> you're not supposed to watch PewDiePie because he's popular, um, damn hipsters, damn hipsters, um, <laughs> and it's like, oh, he made a rape joke once, and I'm like, yep, so, <laughs> Like, I've brought myself not to really care because it happened a year and a half ago. Um, but, and he apologized, so, you know. Oh, there you go. But, I mean, I, I start, I, I still watch him off and on. I mean, he's a cool guy, and I like, um, I like his personality a lot. Um, uh, and then I found Cryotic, who's Chaotic Monkey on YouTube, and he's very, I think he's very funny. Um, his comedic timing's really good. Um, and then which led me to Let's Players like Markiplier and Cinnamon Toast Ken, who's very funny, uh, Manga Minx, who has a, reminds me of Fran a lot for some reason. I, she's British, but, like, her accent sounds a lot like Fran's, so they might be. All British people are the same. No, like, her accent really <laughs> does sound like Fran's. It's weird. Um, it's like Fran, if, if Fran had, like, a, like, a deeper voice, I don't know. Uh, who else? Like, Yami Mash, who's really funny. Uh, Jacksepticeye, um, who I just got into. He is a great accent. Um, who else? You do watch a lot of <laughs> I watch way too many. Um, I think my resurgence actually started with, um, with getting back into Rooster Teeth. Because I was into them for a long time, for a while. Like, I watch Red vs. Blue. And a couple of achievement hunter things, but now I've now I'm, I've been it's been like a year and a half now that I've been watching. I watch them every single day. Wow, Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter, and I also still watch uh, the Game Grumps, who I watch off and on. I used to watch it. I, I used to watch them every day when it um it first when they first started when it was Eager After and Jontron. 
Um, but then, um, once JonTron left, I kind of, like, fell out for a little while, and that has nothing to do with, um, Danny, who replaced JonTron, but that has nothing to do with him. Like, I think he's extremely funny, but I fell out for a little while, and I, I still watch them off and on, just not as much as I used to, but I still think they're extremely funny. Just, like, I, I watch way too many. Like, I'm too invested in people who play video games on the internet. Like, I'm way too invested. <laughs> Someone has to be. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like... But, like, like, like who are some people... Who are some uh, people that you like, like, sketch comedy-wise? Like, I mean, like... Who's that directed at? <laughs> uh, just ev- anyone, anyone. I used to be obsessed with heavy TV. Mm. And they actually... They have their own website. I still think they do. But I, um... When I first found out about them, they actually had a cartoon on demand. So I watched that and I was like obsessed with it. Uh, behind the music that sucks, just parroting like you know behind the music and stuff like that. But it was, it's like juvenile and hilarious, and I thought it was funny. And then like I decided to just check out their website and they had stuff you know on there, but they also had stuff on YouTube. And I uh, I kept up with their other shows, American Suck Count- Count- Countdown. God, I almost said cunt for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> What was the other one? The Superficial Friends, which I loved, and I kind of wish would come back, but I, it wouldn't because it would be too dated. It'd be way too dated. <laughs> um, but yeah, I followed them for on YouTube for a while, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> but they were pretty. They were pretty funny, and I don't know. Last I saw, I think they were still doing some of the same stuff, but it wasn't as funny. I don't know. I I kind of lost interest after a while. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, oh, do any of you guys watch, um, like, like, people like Hannah Hart and, like, Grace Helbig and... Yes. No. Hannah Hart's really funny. I love her a lot. I actually I've just, started, just started watching Yeah, Hannah. me too. Like, just in the past, like, <laughs> not even a whole year. And now she's coming out with, um, Georgia, you'd love her. She does a show called My Drunk Kitchen. Oh my god. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god. You all right over there. I just, I put my foot up against the wall, and I guess it was a- broke the whole wall. I poked, ah. I poked a hole in my wall. Oh, shit, I wasn't too far off. With my foot. <laughs> you really <laughs> Because I kicked back against the wall to back my chair up. And by kick, she, like, Sparta kicked it. She was just Holy like, Holy shit. Man. I'm glad we're moving <laughs> out of this house in a couple months. <laughs> Uh, that, yeah, it sounds, like, it sounds like you won't be able to have a walls anymore. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna cover that up and be like, uh, uh, like if the landlord asks me, like, oh, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> <laughs> where are you moving to? Down the road, like literally oh. five minutes down the road from where we live. <laughs> 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 to a house that's three hundred dollars cheaper a month. Nice, cool. Well, good luck. With more room. Anyway. Yeah, you, hold you'd like Hannah Hart. She does a show called My Drunk Kitchen where she gets drunk and makes food. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I can't cook, so I know I can't do that. She I know, is, I don't like to cook. Either, so. She is the cutest, cutest little lesbian on YouTube. <laughs> she really is, though. <laughs> she is pretty adorable. Um, I think in, in that in that Hannah Hart branch is kind of like, you know, Daily Grace, who's who's not Daily Grace anymore. She's just um It's Grace. Yeah, it's Grace. She just started I just started her watching channel her over. when she switched over to It's Grace. I was like, Oh, new channel? Okay, now watch. Yeah, she's really <laughs> she's really funny too. Um, yeah. I think also most of my the people I watch on YouTube are vloggers. Mm-hmm. So Um I mean like I I remember like before I before I got a resurgence in watching Let's Players, I did watch a lot of vloggers like um CTFXC and um uh SMP Films, who I, I still like. He's a cool guy. He's really he's really nice and um yeah like CTF like even now like people still talk about CTFXC because um like um if you guys don't know that's Charles and Allie Trippy who at one point were, I think at one point they were the most subscribed channel on YouTube. And for five straight years, they've been vlogging every day of their lives. Wow. 
for five. Wow. Yeah, I think they just hit five straight years of vlogging every single day. But um, oh my God. it's chronicled like um, their their engagement and their marriage, and now they just oh. announced like a month ago that they're separating, which oh. sucks for everyone on YouTube. <laughs> All oh, those videos were lies. Yeah. Those well, like, they four, had a wedding four people and, that watch YouTube. <laughs> they had a, like they've been they were married for like two years or something. Like it's it, it's it just happens. weird, you know. Especially yeah. like there there are vlo- some vloggers out there that I have followed that you know they chronicle their relationship. You know they'll get together with someone and then like you'll be watching them two years later and then they'll break up and you're like. I've been watching these people be this couple for two years and now they're not together anymore. <laughs> it's like, I'm not talking about like strictly CTFXC. I'm talking about like, like other people too, that I can't think of off the top of my head, but, um, mostly I feel like that would get awkward if like they ever went back and watched their videos and been like, Oh yeah, it's, it, it this is mildly be, depressing. It must be weird. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I couldn't think of, you know, doing that it's it's a weird thing to try to relate to yourself because it's like wow what would i do in that situation because it's such like a new age thing it's such a yeah. this generation thing of vlogging every single day of your life and you know talking about your life to p- other people would you, would you really want to vlog or vlog every single day of your life because not not every day of your life is interesting Ex- yeah that's i mean you know? I don't care who I, you I are. Feel like you could be would... the most famous person in the world. You got some days where you just sit have on the like couch. A I feel like it videos would... where I'm just like, I have my period. I feel like shit. Fuck you guys. Yeah, I feel like yeah, maybe it would probably... almost get you to get go out and do something. And you're like, wow. I should... Yeah. You you look at yourself and you should be like, wow. I should probably do something today. <laughs> um. That yeah, that you started up. Sure. A again i was not expecting that um yes, you are drunk. <laughs> i mean it probably works if you have something maybe like depression or like well, yeah, low motivation about... it'll get you out to do things <laughs> interesting talk about depression. so you're not a complete bore to the people <laughs> on the internet i've only thought about doing vlogging just as like a way to vent not really putting it on YouTube because nobody's going to want to see that. I know, <laughs> I know Fran... I, today I washed my hands for 15 yeah. whole minutes. I know, I know Fran <laughs> does that sometimes. She'll post a video on YouTube once in a blue moon. Blue moon. <laughs> and it will just be her venting. <laughs> hey, Heather, I actually did that for a little while. When I was, um... When I was in college, I had I had seriously considered like starting my review show then, even though I was so busy with classes. So what I did was I would like record stuff on my computer, and it was literally just me talking in my computer in my common room about a movie. And it was always so I always felt so embarrassed when like my roommate was nearby because I'm like, look at me, I'm just an idiot on my couch babbling to my computer. But she was really cool about it and stuff. But I know what you mean. It's so. Sometimes it is fun to vlog about something or how you feel, but like I, I really couldn't even imagine doing it every day. Like that would no, I, I don't do anything every day. I'm lucky <laughs> I eat every, every day. day. You eat every day. No, nope, sometimes I don't eat per day. <laughs> oh. I, really? That's not healthy. You have to eat I'm not burger. a healthy person. <laughs> burger. Well, okay. You do. You li- you live every day. You breathe. You blink. Well, now we're just getting technical. You walk your I dog every day. <laughs> I don't have a dog. I feed my cat every day. Feed your cat. Because I'm pretty sure if I go to sleep without feeding her, she'll eat me. I mean, that's part of uh, the reason. Well, that would help. That would help feed her too. <laughs> Why I started <laughs> I this podcast. Fifty. You really episodes. need to turn that thing off. Because. <laughs> I'm like sitting at home watching TV and I'm like, wow, I can't say everything I want to say. Because it would take five hours long. <laughs> in, in a text post on Facebook, I can't say everything I want to say. I have to mm, I'm even sure talk you can say it now. to someone <laughs> about it and relate. 
Like you wow. and me with shield. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna turn this off now and <laughs> so go back. Funny. I'm gonna reset the timer again. <laughs> Don't you love That's how I go it. back and forth? <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. You really stuck with it though, I'm proud of you. I try, yeah. <laughs> now my brain's trying to catch up to the fact that there's no delay anymore. <laughs> My brain, brain is ears. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Markiplier. Well, let's keep know, let's keep talking hard. about Markiplier. We this will be the Markiplier podcast, and maybe he'll maybe Simpai will notice <laughs> I'm me. I'm telling you, it'll just be like he's so handsome. He's so handsome. His hair is so lovely. And he's got to, his voice, Jesus fucking Christ. Holy crap. I mean, Can't, yeah. I'm a sucker for a guy with a good voice, which is why I have a major lady That's boner. That's why I that. told you to watch Cry, because he is a great voice, too. <laughs> lady boner. He, he, lady boner. He, Cry has a great voice for reading uh, creepy pasta, actually creepy pastas and uh, scary stories online. Like, I, I, I know Cryotic has a couple videos where he's read some creepy pastas, and it's really I don't know who any of these people are. Let's players. You need to watch your yourself some damn market player. Yeah, games. 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 Yeah, games. Um, um <laughs> let's see. I'm I, like I, I keep I think I feel like I keep missing out on let's players, but I'm like trying to think like a, a, another group Apparently you watch almost exclusively let's players. I try friend, <laughs> Eric did a let's play of the first Resident Evil movie. Uh, movie the first Resident Evil game. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, let's play. Either let's players or like reviewers. Like I love Peanut Butter Gamer and Pro Jared and John like Trump. Peanut Butter Gamer. I like watched one of his videos. I just thought it was really annoying. I, he's great. I don't. Which one did you watch? Um, uh, I think it was like top. It was a top ten of something. Uh huh. Like the scary. I think like uh the scariest villains he's faced or something. Oh uh, yeah, that one's alright. It was, but just like I don't know, he just seemed. That's the thing for me with some people, they're just like, so, like, I appreciate people who really take it seriously. You know, that, that takes a lot of hoods, but I respect that. But, like, there are some people who are, like, so into it that it's just, like, they're almost foaming. And I, I just, it's very, it's kind of annoying. I don't know. You just, like, like when I, you just, like, passionate people. Okay, I'll write that down for future notice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference like between being passionate and being annoying. Game, and he get like... Actually, even me, when I play video games and I'm failing, I get angry and it's not cute. <laughs> Hashtag Georgia hates dreams. <laughs> wow, that was mean. Um, <laughs> hashtag hashtags are stupid. Oh fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. I don't hate passion. I have my own sh review show. I know. I'm joking. Something to do that. And I'm actually I'm stuck on my next episode. I'm torn. So. <laughs> Maybe I do hate dreams. I'm gonna go crawl in a corner and die. Oh. Um, I was thinking of like that branch off, like the normal boots. Got there's continue show who are hilariously funny. Um, and then another branch off that I really like are um these group of guys called the best friends that the, they do the series called Two Best Friends Play. And they do, I, I think, they they still do, I think they still put their videos up on Machinima, but they also do Let's Plays on their own channel, and they're, like, some of the funniest motherfuckers ever. Like, they are so <laughs> fucking funny. Um, and, and it's one of those, um, it, it, it's one of those things that um, I can laugh at with my, my brother, because, as like, now that we're growing up, like, me and my brother's senses of humor have changed. So, like, we watch two best friends play, we'll watch them, and we'll still watch Angry Video Game Nerd and laugh at it really hard. And, like, those are the two, like, internet things that we both agree on are hilarious. <laughs> I don't have a lot of YouTube stuff. Like, I, I really just stick with Channel Awesome, like, most of the people from there, you know? Yeah, that's why, so I still like, like, that's why I still, like, branch out to other reviewers, like, Pro Jared is a is a reviewer and uh. yeah i should check out more people i'm uh. really far behind on like all channel awesome <laughs> i think the only people that i've been pretty good at keeping up with are well is rentasmo even on channel awesome or is he just Ches apocalypse he's shay apocalypse i think 
Shay, Chez, whatever. <laughs> That's that's so fancy. Which Shay I, I have been on that site. That's like a that's like a crazy. I love fancy stuff. I have not. It's you so know good. what? I have not watched any of his stuff. I like reading. You need to. I like reading Lindsay's blogs. So that's also that's why I'll go on there. <laughs> in his latest video, his beard is just majestic. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of beards, now that I have a segue, one of my other like absolute favorite YouTubers is Wheezy Waiter, and you guys, if you don't watch Wheezy, need to watch Wheezy, because that shit is hilarious. You know what, I've heard of him, but, like, I can't put a, a, his name to any video I've seen. I but, I know, post... but I know the name. I know the name. I will spam your Facebook with Wheezy Waiter videos, because I, I, I adore him. Mm. He's, you can send me some. I don't know who he is. <laughs> I will educate you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> speaking of but yeah. also speaking of beards I, I um I guess uh, um people don't talk about them as much anymore but I still love um epic meal time I think they're my friends are obsessed with epic meal time I love oh. Harley like he's so awesome <laughs> I don't know how those people can do that show and not die I don't know either like Harley's just so much of a man that like like every it I doesn't think, like, affect every... him <laughs> Everything they make has bacon. Even like their desserts Early's have bacon. Like, it's like how have you not died of like a coronary Early's yet? Built like a lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. It's real. <laughs> that's really like his theme song. Like he looks like one. <laughs> I wish I could think of. You know, honestly, I think my only other besides the stuff I mentioned, the only other YouTube stuff I was really into was horror montages. Like people, just all any anybody could like just take various horror stuff, like movies or shows or whatever, and just mix it with songs. <laughs> and that was like I was really into that for a long time. I actually like made lists of people's stuff because like some of it, like some of it is like it's like an art sometimes. Because like if you find the right song and the right footage, it can work out so well. Like it can be really fucking creepy, or it can be like ironic, hilarious. Like I saw one. Where like they took all this gore footage and they played like a Perry Como song, <laughs> and like it, that's kind of that's kind of what Phelous does on his show sometimes. Yeah, it was it was kind of like that. Like they had a guy getting disemboweled and it was like magic moment <laughs> filled with love, and like I that's the yeah that's the other thing I'm sort of really into. And like there were some people who were like they made a series of them and they were so good and I like tried to stick with them to do more stuff, but they kept like. That's the thing, too, with YouTube, is that it's hard to stick with some people because they get kicked off, but then they come back, but then they get kicked off again. That doesn't, happen, like, that doesn't happen to much as me, uh, to me um, as it used to. That used to happen to me a lot when I was into um, people who um, did AMVs um, or, uh, yeah, or so did, did anything awesome. related to anime because... There's still such a copyright about anime, especially back then. Like, I feel like, like people I liked a lot were just getting kicked off all the time <laughs> because they they had like something that was copyrighted in their videos, and then they just disappear, and it take me forever to find them again. <laughs> That's just what I don't understand about YouTube. It's like, no joke. I have seen some of the more like some of the more fucked up movies I've seen lately have been because of YouTube. Like, I saw all the guinea pig movies, all of them, thanks to YouTube. But God forbid you play a copyrighted song. <laughs> you can show, oh my God, you can show, like, people, like, exploding in, like, the most disgusting shit. And I don't even want to go into details because I'll gross people out. But God forbid you play that Lady Gaga song. God forbid. <laughs> well, I God forbid God that is... YouTube has to pay 20 cents or something I know, like that. I know. Like, and you know what? It's like... Even with other people, like, what was it? My friend Eric, he's made videos, and he had to... One of them was, like, money made in college for, like, one of his classes, and he they had he had to take it down because he used this one... Like, he used three songs, and only one of them got him in trouble, and he had to take it down. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, it's a stupid, like, college video he made that was, like, five minutes long, and it wasn't even that good. No offense, Eric. But, like... <laughs> But, like, you know, he used this one song, and it was just, it's just so frustrating. Well, like, I know I, if that happens to me in my show, I'm going to lose my shit. I know I am. That's the beauty of the flourishing of other video sites like Vimeo and Dailymotion yeah. and stuff like that. Like, they don't really give a fuck. I know, but it's just annoying, though. 
Like, you can see that's, nudity. That's why all the movie reviewers are at Blip, because Blip doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> well, the ones that were good enough to stay on oh, the Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we're not good. We're not the no greatest. Sorry, Blip, we couldn't be good enough. <laughs> we're not bitter about it, though. Yeah. Fuck you, Blip. I try not to be. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what other stuff is there on YouTube that's good? The Vlog Brothers. Vlog Brothers are great. Llamas Pretty much hat. anything that has Hank or John Green involved in it is awesome. Like, I'm obsessed with Crash Course. Men- which... Mental Floss is a good show, too. Yeah. Mental, I was floss? Gonna... Mental Floss is one of my favorite channels. Is Parental Floss at all connected? Because that would be genius. No, it's a... No. I don't oh. even qualify. Like, I wasn't gonna... Like, I did make like, a top five list, and I didn't put Brent on there, because whenever I think of Brental Floss, it's just, I think of him as a musician as opposed to a YouTuber, so I don't even, yeah. like, qualify it. Oh, and the same thing with, like, Team Four Star, because I don't usually watch them on YouTube. I don't really qualify them as specifically YouTubers. Mm-hmm. So as much as I love them, I didn't Yeah, really... like Team Four Star and Little Karibo and all them. But yeah, anything with John and Hank, it just, SciShow, um, that... Uh, Lizzie Bennet Diaries that Hank produced. It's just, I don't know how they do it, but everything they do is good. Are you going to go see the, uh, the Fault in Our Stars movie? <laughs> is that even a question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've, I, have I haven't two... even read the book. I still need to read it. You do. You do. It's really good. I have two copies because uh, I bought one when I first started reading John's books. I still need to read uh, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and Looking for Alaska, but I've read Paper Towns and Abundance for Catherine. Uh, Abundance of Catherine's. And the Fault in Our Stars, and then uh, Books a Million sold a signed copy of the Fault in Our Stars not that long ago. Mm-hmm. So I was like, guess he's getting another fucking copy. <laughs> you send one of those to me. My my actually my friend. Um, actually, if you want, I'll I'll send you the not signed copy. You should. Oh God. Sure. The speech jammer. <laughs> oh my God, that was genius. Speech <laughs> jammer. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, you, you should do that. Send that to actually, us. My, to my friend things. has a copy, and she's actually starting it over because <gasps> it took her. She she was going to read it, but then she didn't want to read it anymore because she had a bad <laughs> feeling how it was going to end. So <laughs> she didn't feel like reading it anymore. <laughs> But she said now she's going to start it over when she's done with her finals. Oh. And then see I, the movie. I just remembered some YouTube stuff. Um, Picnic Face. I love Picnic that. Face. In college humor. Like, I was I was upset. Like, me and my friends, we were obsessed with Power Thirst. Oh, my and God. And stuff that they did. Oh, my God. That was my entire freshman year of high school. Oh, my God. <laughs> We like, still I, quote that shit. It's just so funny. I, I sometimes, I like, once like in a it. while, I'll remember a quote from them, and it'll take me a while to figure out what it's from. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen that in, like, three or four years. I still I still go, like, you know, fuck you and kick you in the face with my energy day. Yeah. I still do that. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to remember more shit, and I can't think of anything. Because, like, I don't know, I'm just... Col- College Humor just, does just do some good shit, though. I like College Humor. I need to see more reviewers. Like, if people want to recommend stuff to me, I'll I check it out. I know video game I, reviewers. I will like it, <laughs> but I'll try it. I know video game reviewers. Hey. <laughs> I just, I, like, I, I, just I don't know that many... I'm pretty sure all the reviewers I watched, you guys know, because they're... Channel Awesome. Yeah, like most Shea of the movie reviewers I watch are on Channel Awesome. Like Same what, here, or what my friends do. So Um I'm trying to think of like any other movie reviews I really watch. Olin Rogers sometimes does movie reviews and they're pretty funny. Olin Rogers, I fucking love him. I don't know if you guys have ever watched him, but I'm Who? not familiar with him. Olin Rogers, he is hilarious. He t- he goes on his channel and tells the most ridiculous stories from his childhood, um, which and the 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 humor comes out of the way he tells them. Um, 
I think he told, oh god, what was one of these stories? He told a story once, I think it's his most viewed video about how he went into a bathroom stall in Target, and um, he started... I don't like where this is going. He started pooping, <laughs> and then some other guy came in and started pooping next to him, and uh, in the stall next to him. So he put his legs up um, before this guy came in, um, because he knew what he wanted to do, because he was just like, fuck it, it's a Monday. So he let out this, like, blood-curdling scream and <laughs> freaked this other guy out. Like, he's like, <laughs> like, I, like he did it in a funny way, and then um, he snuck into the next stall after he let out another scream before the guy could come and check into his stall and saw that there was no one there. And then he went back into his original stall and screamed again. And the guy was like, oh, thought there must have been a ghost or something. <laughs> I'm going back to my, uh, I'm still on that YouTube thing. I'm, I'm going back actually to my old YouTube page. And I used to, I'm just re- reminiscing. I used to really like crack TV. I don't think I've oh, yeah. Crack's video. Like crack.com had their own channel. So like they would do, uh. Like, Swaim had his own thing, and they had, like, other stuff. Like, put, they do this stuff now, like, After Hours or whatever. I love After Hours. You know hours. what? I have watched After Hours before. That's pretty... Yeah, they're pretty funny. I was watching I think- that with my sister, and I don't remember what episode it is, but uh, one of them just goes, Oh, fart noise of disbelief, and I <laughs> lost it. <laughs> How it should have ended. Those guys are amazing. They're I love them. They're pretty funny, yeah. Love those guys. Um, um, uh, I like and, and I, in the I, same vein. Um, cin- Cinema Sins is pretty funny too. They're alright. That sounds sexy. Yeah, no, they they'll do like if you've ever seen those videos, like everything wrong with X movie in eight minutes, or oh, okay. like everything wrong with the Dark Knight Rises in eight minutes, and they'll even do like like really great movies, like everything wrong with Pulp Fiction in nine minutes or whatever, you know. <laughs> Um, I've never I seen that movie. Brief- but it's but it's not like a guy who's like, man, I hate all these movies. He's just like doing it for fun. So I went through a brief period where I liked uh, shit. You know, someone would say, you know, those things. Oh yeah, <laughs> those shit, are pretty funny. Shit X would say or shit X say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I have shit drunk girls say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Because <laughs> it's true. Anybody else watch Lacey Greens? I watch Lacey channel? Greens sometimes, yeah. Um, I, 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 love I have her. such a love-hate relationship with her videos. I feel like, um, like personally, I, I disagree with her on some things, but, I mean, overall, um, I like most of her content. I've learned more, like, stuff about sexuality and sex from her channel than I learned anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, oh, wow. knowledge. She is, yeah, she she's, is good at... Uh, um, she's really good. I love her. Yeah, on, on those points. I, I feel, yeah, I mean, there's some of her stuff, like, I just don't really agree with, but, I mean, that's just me. I don't think I've found anything of hers that I disagree with her on, but, you know, she, I'm sure I haven't watched all her videos, because there's always a backlog of stuff. I think, also, I would just watch anything with cute animals. I'm one of those people. That's just a given. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Some people don't, I don't know, some people, I guess, don't like that stuff. I don't know. What, cute animals? Some people are dead inside. <laughs> you ever see Prostitute Mickey? No. no. <laughs> I think they've only, I think there's only been a couple episodes, but it was like someone took Mickey Mouse, actually, he took all the Disney characters and just made them horrible people. Like, sorry. Like, uh... Like, they're crack whores and homeless. And, oh, there's more of them. I gotta check it out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, really dark. But it's kind of Oh, funny. right in the childhood. It yeah. sounds like Happy Tree Friends or something. It, also, well, right in the as, childhood. It's not as violent. <laughs> it's not as violent, but... Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. But it's, I think it's kind of funny, but I, I should check the rest. I, apparently there's five of them, and I've only seen two, so I'm going to check Speaking that out of, like, later. Those, like, I'm trying to think of like animations I watched when I was younger, like Newground stuff, and like... I watched Simon's Ho- Cat. Homestar Runner, and Salad Fingers, and... Yes, I love <laughs> Salad Fingers. <laughs> He's just so interesting. Yeah, the... He's- mad in a post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> I, love. I love that cosplay you did of him that one time. That was like Thank you. I the love greatest that thing. I'd never seen one before, so it just like freaked me out. <laughs> I loved it. And actually, only one person really recognized me, and he was like, aren't you a bit late for that? 
I know he was kind of being a dick about it, but I'm like, I don't care. Mm. Nobody it's else. never too late. Exactly. It'll, it'll like, I think that'll that'll probably get like a resurgence of popularity in like two to three years. You know, really. Doctor Tran. That's another thing. I had friends. Oh, who, I remember that. I had friends oh, who watched God. that, but I don't remember it that well. <laughs> It was, like, a huge thing. Like, I saw the first few mo- movies, few videos, but then, like, it became, like, a really big thing, and now there's, like, a fuck ton of them, and I haven't seen all of them, because I think the few ones, the new ones I did see, I didn't like, mm-hmm. so I just kind of stopped, but, like, it was, it's, like, a big thing, and, like, oh, my God, my friend Chris, he's, like, he's, like, our only Asian friend, so, of course, he's the one who does the best Dr. Tran, but he's so funny when he does it. It's hilarious. Like, he has the blue shirt and everything. He's just like, where'd you find my village? <laughs> it's so funny, and he needs to do it more often. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, Potter Pop- Puppet Pals, Jesus of Christ, now you're taking me back. Holy ball shit. Ball the snake. Oh my god, ball the ball the ball. I used to, oh I used god, to do that I with my sister did- all the time. I, well, I, this was one of the greatest events of my FDU career. Me and a bunch of friends were like, we walked to the movie theaters to see Princess and the Frog, and then we were walking back, because like the theater was like not even that far away, so we, we walked back, and we successfully got all of us in rhythm to do, uh, you know, Snape, 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 oh, Snape no. that whole thing. <laughs> we all got a part, and we all did it just walking back, and it was so much fun. Like, I had a uh, Ron's part. And it was so much fun. Jeez. I loved it. Let's take it. I miss Take all me back. Oh, God. No, not again. <laughs> Just when I forget about it, it turns back on. That's why it's the greatest. <laughs> um, what other stuff is there? Um, someone posted all of the Weird Al cartoons episodes he did on his show. <laughs> Because he had a show in the 90s, and then, like, he had a cartoon in that show for a while. So someone posted all of them, and I, I watched those for a fat man. I thought it was really <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Sailor Moon a Bridge. That ruled my world. There's a Sailor Moon a oh, Bridge. Uh, I watch. I still. For years. Watch. Heather, this was for years. Oh, my God. I still yeah, watch, like, I haven't caught up with I them. still watch so a lot of. <laughs> Of, um, hmm, trying to talk. I still watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. I still love Little Karibo. I think he's still amazing. And Dragon Ball yeah. Z Bridge. I still the do like. The Sailor Moon Bridge were great. I watched the first season, and, like, I think they, I think, I don't know how far they've gotten now, but, like, it was just so funny. But I don't know, the minute they got to Sailor Venus, it just stopped being funny, and I felt really mm. sad. And then, like, they kept going, but it just, I don't know, it just lost its flavor. Oh, my God. Uh, Do you guys ever watch, what was it, Marvel DC After Hours? Mm Mm-mm. No. There's this, I haven't watched this in so long. There's this guy who actually is called, is just some random guy, which I didn't know until now. But he would, um, he had all these action figures of Marvel DC characters, and he shot his own show with these action figures of them, (laughs) of, like, all these characters at a bar. And, but eventually it became, like, he made his own stories out of it, like, and they were actually really good stories. It like, reminds me a lot of, um, Arby and the Chief, which I used to watch a lot when I was a kid. Wow, that, that, god, I wonder if he still makes that show. It was, um, like, but it was a show that they, it was a show that this guy on Machinima did, um, with, uh, figures of Master Chief and the Arbiter from Halo, and they would have like their own adventures and like these really weird stories and yeah. it's amazing. Or so is this one. Like this, I, I again I haven't caught up, but like he the last I saw he had three seasons, but the first two seasons were like were genuinely brilliant. Like they were so well thought out and like and not to mention it's all these action figures and all these characters and when you get right down to it, it's only played by two mm-hmm. people. It's played by this guy and his girlfriend. And it's genius. He's like a really good voice yeah, actor. Yeah, the thing, uh, Arby and the Chief uh, used uh, the Microsoft Sam and, you know, like the computer voices, like you'll type it in and it says like, yeah, he, he yeah. used those, like Microsoft Sam and um, I forget what the other ones were, but. Um, I don't know if this guy did that. I think he just, you know, used his own mm-hmm. voice, but um, 
That's so cool. Oh, I remember another one. Uh, Hard Drinkin' Lincoln. That was something I watched. I, I don't know if I started that on YouTube or elsewhere, but that was just, it's essentially just like this cartoon of Abraham Lincoln being drunk and just being belligerent and oh terrible. God. And his foil was always John Wilkes Booth. And like, I don't, I, I don't, I think they might have done a handful of episodes and they were kind of funny. And I don't know. I, I love that. Uh, I also love that John Wilkes Booth is played by Maurice LaMarche, which I just Jake, thought was have awesome. You ever, have you guys ever watched uh, Drunk History? The, um, I, I think, think I saw the funnier, I think I saw I think a little I bit funnier it. die guys yeah. make watched, it, and now they show it on Comedy yeah. Central, but it used to be online, and it still is. I watched it when it was on TV for a little bit, and I, 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 I don't know. It just seems like a one trick. I joke. love it. Like, I it don't just, like because it's like a different piece of history every time, and it's a different drunk person every time. So like, well, that's I, true, I, yeah. I love it. Like, I think every single one they've done is absolute gold. <laughs> Do you ever see, um, well, the guy's name is, uh, uh, his username is Close, Close Man P, but, um, he, he does a lot of cat videos, but, like, they're kind of famous, like, An Engineer's Guide to Cats, did you ever mm-hmm. see that? No. That's, that's, like, his most popular one, but, like, after that he made, like, a fuck ton of cat videos, because, like, he's just this, like, engineer guy from Kansas, and he's got three cats. And so he just, like, made all these other videos. Like, now now he's using his cats in, like, recreations of famous scenes from movies. Like, they did one with his cats from, like, a uh, scene from The Princess Bride, which is hilarious. Well, that's kind of what the Pet Collective does with them. Um, they'll recreate movies with a, like, it's a it's a well, small is... child narrating it, but they'll recreate it with, yeah, like, yeah, but this... baby pugs and kittens. And... <laughs> yeah, but this, is, but this is, like, he's actually involved. Like, he's one of the characters when he's when he does the videos. He doesn't narrate. Well, he does narrate, but he also is, does hands-on stuff. But I... He's pretty funny. God, I don't know, I don't know why so, I'm... Re- thank, you know what? This is so great. I'm just, like, reminiscing on my old I don't YouTube know page. why <laughs> I'm remembering... Like, I don't, something you said made me remember this guy. And I thought... And, and it's still one of the most original shows I've... Or, or original ideas I've ever seen online. Um, and I don't even know if he still makes videos. I assume he does. Um, his name is... Um, I think his username is something like Thin Walls Ryan or something. And the whole point of his show is that he does all these crazy challenges and different things that are overall, like, noisy, and he tries not to be noisy. But he does them um, while his neighbors are having sex. So he can hear... He hears them having sex from his bedroom. So he does all of these challenges and tries to finish them before his neighbors stop having sex. And it's... (laughs) Wow. <laughs> it's one of the funniest ideas I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's it's still to this day is like one of, one of my, the most original concepts on YouTube. One of my biggest fears is that my neighbors can hear me <laughs> when I'm I'm just like You know what? I don't give a fuck. I can hear I mean, them. I, like, I I can hear them like I don't I think their garage is a touch to the my side of the house so I can hear them like banging or running up and down stairs and something I'm like one of these days I'm gonna get a knock on my door like could you keep it down please <laughs> and then I'll never be able to have sex no, again don't. <laughs> I think guys, dude that um, happened on Game of Thrones um, last night I sent you guys some videos and I really want you to check them out when okay. we're done because it's old school stuff that I love and actually this video I just sent the, I sent them the first Marvel DC After Hours it's so old that the qual that the picture itself is so tiny. <laughs> oh, it was Jeez, baby like YouTube. from the original YouTube. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's been on forever. YouTube. I really need to catch up with his shit. Cause like I got to like the middle of the third season, but it just kind of meh. But I hope he's gotten better. Like, uh, we um, <laughs> what uh, what was I gonna say, Heather? And I was gonna elaborate what I said, like that happened on Game of Thrones last night. Literally, that happened on Game of Thrones last night. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, Peter and uh, Lysa had sex, really hardcore, and she was <laughs> screaming. And oh, that was in yeah, the book. And Sansa was laying there, like. Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is really awkward. <laughs> I don't want to hear my aunt having sex. <laughs> With Peter Baelish, God damn it. Like, the look oh, on Sophie God. Turner's face, the way she acted that scene, like, was hilarious. I remember reading that 
I remember reading that and being like, whoa. It was, that that was a great scene. That was like my favorite scene from last night. <laughs> oh, I really gotta yeah. watch it. It was, last night was good. It must be, you keep talking about it, but that's, that's cool though. I, I should catch up on that show. I really should. I just, I want to finish Twin Peaks because it's so awesome. <laughs> we, the dad like just got back. We should probably <laughs> wrap this episode up. We should start to wrap it up. Wrap it up. I don't know why I made a song yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know. Because you were just, you know what? Because you're probably so tired of having your voice in slow mo that you just wanted to yeah. sing it out. Uh, you never sent it to any of us so that we could do we, I'm it. I'm gonna do that next week. I'm gonna give it. To, oh my I'm gonna god. Give it to Fran next week. We'll do oh this. <laughs> we'll do this until everyone has done it once. Oh god. I don't oh, want way, everyone to do five. it all at once because that would just like not be great. <laughs> Uh, oh, God, no, the thing. Um. <laughs> that, you know what? Don't don't get rid of it because it's a good way to end yeah, the episode. Yeah, I'm not going to we'll end it as off slowly yet. as possible. Just a- <laughs> um, what's a Facebook, www.facebook.com <laughs> slash those girls podcasts. Is our Facebook? It's up on the screen right now, and you should go and like page. And if you don't get the name of the website, you should have been listening more because she said I it very. Di- that wasn't <laughs> even intentional. <laughs> to say yes, it that it slowly. <laughs> uh, we'll be back next week with episode fifty-one. And hopefully, someone won't be and drunk. Maybe. Shield will be good Damn this Greer, week. Get your shit together. I don't know. I'm getting tired <laughs> of Shield's bullshit. I want it to end. Well, isn't this the this will the second season finale? Second, this is the last episode, I think. Yeah. So then you'll get yeah. your wish. And then hopefully they'll figure out what they're hopefully doing. Hopefully Joss Whedon will finally die for real. Hopefully Shield. Joss Whedon will get his shit together. <laughs> for Age of Ultron. <laughs> That's probably why the writing is so lazy right now, or it seems that way, because he's yeah, probably they're, they're big preoccupied with Ultron. Yeah, and other stuff. So oh we're gonna gosh. sign off now. <laughs> oh my we gotta, god. I have to go <laughs> and, re- and reevaluate <laughs> yeah. my life. I'm gonna go sober up. I need psychiatric help or something. And I'm going to go spam Greer and George's pays with the Easy Waiter and stuff. Yeah. So. And I'm going to go. <laughs> Everyone go watch yeah. Markiplier. <laughs> Markiplier. Bur- 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 We've officially lost it. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye.